And I am back to talk about two more of the Master Replicas scaled lightsabers. Um, Mace Windu and Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber hilts. Uh, let's look at the box first. This is Mace Windu's. That's a little dusty. Um, the box is six or seven inches wide by five or six inches tall by three inches, two or three inches thick. Has a nice little bio on there with a quote, blah blah blah, and a nice cut, dirty pseudo felt um, tray. <clears throat> That's Mace Windows. Now the Qui-Gon Jinn, as you may be able to see there, is a CS exclusive, which means it got a special box. Let's adjust this up just a teeny bit. <clears throat> this was the Collector Society exclusive uh, gift gift piece gift gift uh, for joining the Collector Society in 2007, which was the 30th anniversary of Star Wars, and the last year that Master Replicas had the license because they decided to give it up. <clears throat> And I won't complain in this video about how that meant we didn't get a Return of the Jedi scaled Vader saber. So this box is as wide, but my camera, hmm. Anyway, it's bigger. It's got a sleeve. And then inside you can see Collector Society 2007. There was a special membership pin that I don't know where it is, I don't care. Some junk about... The Collector Society noticed that it's not got a bio for the Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber, which would sit there, and I left the bag in. Came wrapped in a plastic bag, stuck in there. <clears throat> Tray for the the, uh, the stand was in there. Anyway, it was a cool-looking box, although ultimately it was less useful because it didn't have a picture, nor did it have a bio of the character in question. So that's lame. But what we got was the Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber <clears throat> excuse me from episode one the Phantom Menace with his little red turn on button nice aluminum um, body his is a nice interesting if you notice I say nice a lot in these videos I tend to like most of the stuff I own so I'm going to use the same words over and over again the hilt of this one is halfway hollow. Uh, I don't know. The grip is an interesting design here that leaves half of the hilt see-through. Cool. Round pommel, round emitter. Not a lot to it, but it's a good design, and this was the only way you could get the Qui-Gon Jinn saber. Now the Mace Windu is a great hilt design. It's got these weird rubber fins for for a grip. Let's see if you can see that they're just weird rubber fins. They're a little squishy, but not really. But they're rubber coated, I guess. Um, just a very interesting, ornate design with this interesting cracked looking rubber on half of it, then those weird gold. Bits, greebles, doodads. I don't know which the proper phrase would be, but a nice gold emitter with some divots in the bottom of it. I don't know. Anyway, very unique and special hill design. I think this was one that cost me a little bit extra to get because it, it is a unique no saber. Um, this is the Attack of the Clones one. I think. The Mace Window might also have been released previously as a Collector Society exclusive as the Qui-Gon Jinn one was. Presumably, it would have been a Revenge of the Sith version, since this is the Attack of the Clones. Or maybe it was a, an Episode 1, maybe it was a Phantom Menace version, I don't remember. I don't have it, I'm not 100% sure it exists, I could be hallucinating all of this. But anyway, there you go, two random... Jedi sabers from the scaled saber hilt replica line by Master Replicas.
Thanks for watching.